In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some really, really solid running plays from the West Coast Playbook. It's something that I think you really should consider adding um, to your arsenal because I think it's really going to help you improve. Um, but basically, what I want to talk about today is a shift. Some of you might already know about this play, but I want to share it with you for those that you don't. Um, and for those of you that have never been to my YouTube channel, my name is Cody, and I upload four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help with some type of basically break the game down, uh, try to give you tips and stra strategies that really are practical and can you can use and apply them. So in today's video, we're talking specifically about a run out of the West Coast playbook, actually really two runs that I want to specifically focus in on. Um, I just want to talk about them real quick. So if you guys are enjoying the channel, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click that subscribe button uh, at the bottom right hand screen. You can also turn the notification bell on. That way you don't miss an upload. And also we live stream every single night on YouTube. We'll be live streaming tonight as well. If you want to come by the channel, and check it out. Um, it's 10 o'clock. It's where I show these tips in real practical gameplay uh, fashion. But let's talk today about the... Uh, what I see to be, you're going to see this shift. Um, I think the West Coast playbook's coming back. Um, the meta, the meta has shifted uh, significantly. I'm actually getting ready to write an ebook for you guys on the West Coast book. Um, we might be doing a free guide first, but I want to talk specifically about this near close flex, far tight slot, near jumbo. You know, really all kind of the same basic principles apply for both of these. But the play we're going to talk about is the HB inside and the fullback dive and the 01 trap. So there's a couple of run plays I want to go over and I want to cover these runs um, because I just really think this is um, you're going to see this start to happen. There's not very, very many good uh, defenses that stop this. And what I also think you're going to find is you're going to see a lot of people using the Texas play or the post drag play as well. But we're going to start focusing in on the fullback dive. And with the fullback dive, what I want you to do is I want you to run it to the right. So some formations have the dive going this way. Make sure that you're playmaking the dive to go to the right side of the field. And what you'll see is your running back comes in the hole, and he's a, he, this is a longer handoff this year. This is what makes this run so good. It's a little bit longer of a handoff, and the reason that that's meaningful and matters is because it allows your running back time to get up the field and block. Now, what I would recommend doing on this specific run play, just to give you a quick tip, is this receiver on the left side, what you want to do is you want to ID uh, the defensive end because you don't want the defensive end to shoot. If, if the defensive end shoots, it'll blow it up as you just saw. So just ID him and what you'll see is you're going to be able to really run to win. I mean, this, this fullback dive is really, really good. One thing you can do, and I just wanted to show this real quick on fullback dive, is if you can playmaker it to the left and you'll see that the running back will kind of shoot out uh, that left side for you, he's going to kind of lead block into that left side gap. This is going to prevent block sheds on the right side. So they're not going to be able to shed you or just shoot the gaps on the right. And this is just basically an automatic three to five yards. I mean, it's it's really hard to stop this run. You'll see that run committing uh, doesn't always stop this. And that's what's really special about it. Um, and you can even motion, like if you motion this, this, this wide receiver in this pocket right in here, you're just going to prevent block sheds. And look at that. I mean, that's a run commit, and that's almost a touchdown. Had I not trucked, that would have been an automatic touchdown. So just wanted to share with that. That's fullback dive. And fullback dive, in my opinion, is best from the near jumbo. But the complement of the running plays um, is a little bit better from the near close flex. Far tight slot is really good as well. You can run fullback dive out of far tight slot fairly effectively. But what you'll see is this fullback dive, you can run it right or left. It really doesn't, like I said, you can run it to the right um, and the running back will be a little bit more impactful because he's going to get the linebacker oftentimes if you run it to the right side. The only issue with running it to the right side is sometimes you'll get an instant shed by that left side guy because there's no tight end on that side. So that's the only thing that I'm saying. And that's why tight ends, in my opinion, are so important. Once again, this year, you're going to see a lot of people uh, will realize the importance of having uh, t two tight end sets to prevent the edge, um, the edge instant sheds, instant wins. But overall, this is going to be very good. And if you want to stop that, you can just put a tight end over there at that um, wide receiver spot. The next run I want to go over is the 0-1 trap. This run is back this year. It's really effective. Um, you see, I mean, this is probably even better than the fullback dive, honestly. Um, I feel like this run gets better. Um, it just gets better momentum. It's harder to stop. It's, it's probably more of a big play type run. The fullback dive is going to be consistent. 
this run does have a window to shoot. You you can kind of shoot the gaps, but O one trap is back this year. It's really 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 good. Um, you know, and basically, you know, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to get really, really good blocking right at the middle of the field. It's going to be difficult for the defense to block shed you because it's pulling guard. Pulling guard run plays this year are really, really good. Um, you see that right there, that little block, that little block from the guard is what's going to prevent the instant uh, sheds, instant pressures, um, and stuff like that. Now, if they pinch, you know, their line, maybe they're crashing down, maybe they're, you know, blitzing. like this looks like it should stop this run play, and it does, as you can see. But one thing you do need to know with uh, 01 Trap, the one issue that I feel like I have with it is if you playmaker it to the left, what you're going to see is the running. I would recommend playmaking it to the left because when it when you playmaker it when it when it's ran to the right side of the screen, uh, let me show you an example right here. You see that the running back is coming over the top. He really isn't, but in the play art it shows that. Well, um, what you want is you want the running back to basically clean up any block shed. So realistically, what you really want to have happen is you want the running back to come in where Phillips is and kind of clean up any instant sheds. And that's why I like the playmaker it to the left side because the pulling guard, the running back's basically going to um, going to clean up any of these sheds these sheds for you and it's going to allow you that instant um you need the pulling guard i think pulling guards help this year um but what you'll see is this little um this little uh, kind of almost glitchy not glitchy but just like overload because the the direction the quarterback's going to turn if you look he turns to his he turns that direction now if we playmaker it the opposite way He's gonna. He is going to turn the opposite way as well. So we're gonna playmaker the opposite way. So playmaker to the left. He's gonna turn that way. You see how the guard kind of gets swallowed up in that. That's the one thing that you do need to watch with this run. But overall, playmaker at either side, honestly. And this one works a little bit better because I feel like the running back is gonna get upfield more, and he's gonna kind of clear out a running lane. And then the last play I want to talk about is HB inside. Uh, HB inside is really really good this year. I think it's better than it's ever been. Honestly, um, it's way better than it was last year. You can basically, what you can do is you can use double jukes. I want to talk, I've talked about this a little bit, but what you, the one thing you have to be careful with, with HB inside is if they have like a, a Kenny Clark, like the Packers have a Kenny Clark, um, if they have inside stuff on him, it will activate on this run. But what I like to do with this HB inside run, especially if you have like time to be able to maneuver in the backfield, what you're going to do here is you're going to juke you're basically going to do a double juke that's going to allow you to cut to the outside. So if you get some time in the in the in the running lane, you can actually double juke back as you see here. And this is a video that I did earlier on the channel talking about double jukes and why they're so important and why they're able to help you really kind of angle your runs. You see how this double juke doing a double juke to instantly cut to the right or instantly cut to the left or just running straight ahead. You know, this run this year is really good. You get that nice double team and I just, I just think this run is really effective. Um, this little near close flex scheme is really, really good. The passing's not as good as it was last year, but I think the running is a little bit better. And I actually really, really like with with this. If you if you basically glide with your running back to the left and then do that little double juke cut back, you're gonna find this run opens up a lot more for you than you would think. Um, I'm just telling you from experience, this run is very, very good. Even with the inside stuff ability, it doesn't really stop this run. Um, and just the way the blocking uh, sets up this year, watch right here, double juke, and I get all the, I can almost get all the way back over the right. And if you turn your joystick, maybe at about like four o'clock, if your joystick was a clock, you'll see that you can kind of almost get to the edge here just with one massive double juke. To me, that's really, really important and really, really good. Um, and then again, you can always just you know run a sweep out of it. You can turn this into a, a sweep run just with your left joystick. Um, you know, this, this is a really good run play, guys. Honestly, um, it's hard to stop this run. It's hard to stop this scheme. And I think you're going to see people go back to the West Coast two-back scheme. Uh, the two-back system from West Coast is always effective. And this year, it might be more effective than it's ever been because of the fact that you can throw to the flats like you've never been able to before. So like with this play PA read special, I can just quick pass this right here and, and get out there and go, you know, and it's just really, really effective, really, really natty. I, I call it a natty scheme, meaning it's annoying. 
um, because there's just not an easy way to stop it, especially with the way reach for it works this year. Um, you know, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about the West Coast. Honestly, don't know why, um, because it's it's really good. It's it's really good offense. Um, you know, the bunch is not as good as it's been in the past, but it's still gun bunch. Um, you can audible from bunch to any pro set out of out of this. Like this is a really really good set, especially if you're playing like mutt. Um, I just I just encourage you to check it out. It's it's really good. Uh, check out these two back schemes. This one in particular is really effective. I'll be sharing some other ones. I talked about lead draw yesterday. Um, but anyways, guys, we're gonna be doing an ebook on this one. It's gonna be really really good. It's gonna be really really deep. Um, I think these two back schemes you're gonna start to see people are gonna realize that these are really really effective. So if you have man questions, be sure to text me. My number is eight one two two one six. 3644. It's in the top left corner. It's also in the description of this video. Be sure to jump in the Discord as well. If you're not a Discord member, you definitely want to do that. It's completely free to jump in. And it's a, a great place to be able to talk with Madden with people. And um, if you really want to take your game to the next level right now, what I, one of the best ways you can do that is through picking up a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. You can pick that up in the description below. We have 30-minute and 60-minute sessions available. And I'll tell you right now, if you uh, were to tell me what's the best way to get better in Madden 21, honestly, I would say coaching sessions. And it's not because of the money. It's because of the fact that you will learn so much in that one hour that is specific to your needs and your game plan and your scheme that you know no guide no video could really do that for you because it's conversation and it's going to allow me to really kind of get in and help you so i'm just really excited if you haven't um if you haven't already checked out a coaching session i would encourage you to consider doing that right now go to the description don't wait any longer pick one up today we got a couple more videos coming for you on our YouTube channel today. So make sure you're subscribed uh, and make sure you have those notifications on so you don't miss an upload. And also, we're going to be live streaming tonight on our YouTube channel. Um, got a lot of content coming for you today. Got a great weekend in Madden. A lot of new cards coming out in Mutt. A lot of new schemes coming out, in my opinion, too. You're going to start to see these pro two-back schemes are going to come back. They're really, really good this year. So I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. And we will see you on our next YouTube video. There's some other ones you can check out here. And we've also got our live stream coming tonight. So a lot of good stuff for you guys. See ya.